We all know that China has a long history and has countless titles, such as the country of ancient civilization, the country of silk, the country of porcelain, etc. It is also a country with the world's top bridge building technology, and it has won another title, the country of bridges. Since ancient times, China has been representing the highest standard of the world's bridge building technology. The Lugo Bridge in Beijing, the Luoyang Bridge in Fujian, the Guangxi Bridge in Guangzhou, etc. There are too numerous to list, especially the Zhaozhou Bridge in Hebei, which is the earliest open closed bridge in the world. It is a miracle that it has survived from earthquakes and wars and has survived for more than 1,400 years. So, what do you think of when we mention rockets? Yes, this is a spaceflight vehicle. But what do you think of when it comes to building bridges? If you connect bridges and rockets, what can you think of? Is it used to blow up the bridge? However, in the hands of the Chinese, this is building a bridge. That's right, although it sounds a bit incredible, in China, rockets are used to build bridges. Hi! Welcome to Hot Topics Time. In today's video, let's take a look at how the Chinese use rockets to build bridges. Okay, let's get started. Many people will find it inconceivable. As a vehicle for spaceflight, how can rockets be connected with bridge construction? In fact, this is closely related to the geographical environment of the Sidder River Bridge. Among all the bridges in China, if they are ranked in terms of construction difficulty, the Sidder River Bridge must be at the top of the list. It is the largest existing mountain bridge in China. It is located in Enchi Miao Autonomous Prefecture, Hubei Province. It is an important part of the expressway connecting Yichang to Enchi, and is named after crossing the Sidda River. Besides, the Sidda River Bridge has a total length of 1,365 meters and was once called the world's number one bridge. In addition, the Sidda River Bridge is the second highest suspension bridge in the world. And of course the first highest is Beipanjiang Bridge, which is also built in China. So, what problems did the construction team mainly encounter during the construction of such a super bridge? Why do they use rockets? Okay, please continue watching. Sitter River Bridge is located between the mountains, and the straight line distance between the bridge and the lowest point of the canyon is up to 560 meters. In addition, the average slope on both sides of the canyon is above 70 degrees, and in some places it can even reach 90 degrees. The meandering Sidda River directly splits the mountains on both sides. Because of the steep terrain of the Sidda River Canyon, there are almost no inhabitants, and naturally there are no roads. As a result, the traffic conditions for the construction of the bridge were very poor, which posed challenges to both the development of the project and the transportation of construction materials. And in the process of building a suspension bridge, there is a necessary link which is the laying of the pilot cable. Because among the many steel cables that suspension bridges rely on, two main cables are very important. They can play the main load-bearing responsibility of the bridge, so their strength is very high and their weight is very heavy. When building a long-span bridge, if you want to send the two main cables to the other end of the bridge, you must first index the pilot with the smaller weight to the opposite side, and then use them to pull the main cable. In an ordinary bridge construction project, if it is on land, it is only necessary to drive to the target area by pulling the pilot cable. But it is obviously not suitable in the Sidda River Canyon, because there are almost no roads there, and no matter how powerful an off-road vehicle is, it is impossible to climb the cliff on the opposite bank. In addition, when building a suspension bridge across a river, the pilot cable is often transported by boat, but as we just mentioned, even if you cross the Sidda River at the bottom of the canyon, there are still several hundred meters from the bridge. What about manual rock climbing? In fact, it is not feasible, because it is extremely risky to climb a cliff with such a large slope. In addition, climbers also need to carry the pilot cable. Although it is much lighter than the main cable, if they are to carry it when climbing, it is easy to cause casualties if they are not careful. At this time, someone proposed to use a helicopter. In fact, this method has great feasibility in the construction of general mountain and canyon bridges. But the Sitter River Canyon is too steep. There are cliffs and cliffs everywhere, not to mention the natural flatland. Even if you want to build an apron, there is no suitable area. In this way, 
The construction personnel and engineering experts of the project have thought of a lot of methods, but without exception, they all have great limitations. Just when everyone was at a loss, a project manager came up with a brain-opening idea, which was to use a rocket to transport the lead cable. Once this method was proposed, it was opposed by many people, and anyone who looked at this idea was a bit too whimsical. But after some controversy and discussion, everyone decided to give it a try. After all, there was no other feasible way at that time. Everyone first found two small rockets, and then tied ropes to them. During the two test launches, the rockets were really able to successfully send the ropes to the other side. After confirming that this method was feasible, the construction personnel replaced the rope with two high-strength pilot cables with a length of more than 1,200 meters. The whole process only took more than 10 seconds. After that, this method was officially named Rocket Bridge Method and shocked the world. International experts and media have exclaimed, maybe only China has the courage to try to build bridges with rockets. The entire Sidhu River Bridge has a total of 16,129 5.1 mm special steel wires. Construction began in 2004, completed in October 2008, and officially opened to traffic in 2019. It took five years in total and an investment of 618 million. Before the completion of the Beipanjiang Bridge in 2016, the Sidhu River Bridge has always been the well deserved world's number one bridge. To this day, the Sidhu River Bridge is still firmly across the canyon, surrounded by clouds and mists in the canyon, like a fairyland, so it is also called the Bridge in the Sky. It may not be technically difficult to build a bridge with a rocket, but the courage to try to build a bridge with a rocket is absolutely great enough. I think it is with this kind of courage that China has achieved the brilliant achievements of the infrastructure today. Do you like the story of the Sidhu River Bridge? Please continue to follow us. We will talk about the world's first bridge, Beipanjiang Bridge, in the next update video. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. Hot Topics Time, time to explore the wisdom behind the news. We will see you in the next video.